Some of you will have grandkids. Some of you will be doctors. Some of you will be scientists. At that time in 2043, our loved one, our newer, newer generations, our grandkids, our kids will ask, what did you do in 2023 to liberate the country that has been ruled by military rule for so many decades? What did you do, Dad? What did you do, Uncle? He will ask you that question. How are you going to answer that? Are you going to answer, no, I did not do anything. I just sit by the sideline and watch. While all of our relatives were tortured, having their village burned, having all of their hopes perished, or are you going to be the group that say, yes, I was involved in the fight against injustice, in the fight against military rule in a country. So I want you to choose a side today. I want you to choose the side that stand with the justice. I want you to take a stand today out of so many states. If we look at the human populations, proportion to the suffering, Karani has been the worst. But this is where we have an opportunity to rewrite the history that stays with us for centuries to come. Karani will be mentioned in the history written by some of you here today. Karani will be a very central piece in gaining and in winning the war against injustice right now. This is where most of you are here today. I wanted to take a stand on the side of righteousness. We will win one day. Thanks to all of you. Every single one of you here today, you have to make a contribution. Financial or in human resource, in so many other ways, you have been very instrumental to Korean American organizations' success. Korean American organization has been very, very instrumental in the fight against injustice. And I here would like to take a real opportunity to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart.